perm rods. They are not just for a perm. They actually work great as a wet set. So we'll talk about that. Hello, welcome to Lady in Waking. Today we are going to talk about perm rods. And if you haven't been here before, Lady in Waking is a channel that I have created specifically for ladies 40 and over who are trying to kind of reevaluate what their vintage style means. And also we are including a lot of vintage style techniques on this channel. So right now I'm doing a series that is all dedicated to rollers, uh, roller sets of all kinds. I've got a few under my belt already and then there's some more coming up. And this week you all requested perm rods. So I put a poll out there every Saturday and I allow you guys to vote and everyone um, was kind of, it was kind of torn for a while and then perm rods jumped into the lead. So what we're going to do today is we're going to do a perm rod set and I'm going to show you exactly what that entails. So perm rods, as you may know, especially if you were a child of the 80s like I was, um, was our, our, the type of roller is a hard roller with a little elastic, um, band on the end and these are the rollers that are used to create a permanent wave or a perm. Um, they work really well because they create a really structured curl and you can get them in several different sizes. The three sizes that I have are a medium size like this. This is generally the size that was used whenever I actually had a perm in the 80s. Um, a very small size like this. This still works really great for a fluff curl and then a larger size like this. And this is the size we use today. And we're gonna kind of show you what sort of curl it creates and why it's a useful type of set to have. Now, um, that's what a perm rod set is. And basically I don't use any kind of permanent solution, obviously. And I actually, when I went and picked up some perm rods at Sally Beauty, they told me that I needed end papers. No, you don't, you don't need end papers. And it still creates a really nice structured curl um, because of the firmness of the roller. It really kind of gives you a sort of um, a, a very round curve curl that doesn't crush in any way. So with a lot of your softer rollers, like your pillow rollers, your sponge rollers, and even a pin curl set, you can sometimes come out with sort of a crushed, flattened curl. The type of curl that this gives will never be like that because of the, the type of roller it is. Not the most comfortable set for sleeping, obviously, but this is something that I utilize quite often and you'll see why. I really like utilizing the larger size because it gives me a nice body wave. Um, and that's this because I wanna do more of a wavy set. So I'm going to do these today, but if you want a curlier style, you can actually use the smaller rollers and they will look very similar to a pillow roller set or a small foam roller set. So that's what perm rods are. You will need um, some hairspray for styling. I'm using a combination of hairsprays right now. I really love the finished product of this Kerastase Black Noir. Um, it's a fixation extra hold hairspray. Um, they are, it's made by L'Oreal, which is also who makes Elnet. I feel like the scent is overpowering. It's a great hairspray, a great brushable hold hairspray. Um, it's pricey and the scent is crazy, crazy strong to me. Um, but I do, I do really recommend, I do really appreciate the recommendation that my stylist gave me in this. And so I do use it, especially to finish out my set. And then if I'm going to actually spray my hair just to sort of spray the brush to keep it from getting frizzy or anything like that, I'm still using Elnet for that. Elnet is still a great, great hairspray. And even the unscented does kind of sort of have a cloying scent. Uh, but it's still, it's one of the better brushable hairsprays on the market. So I'm going to be using both of these. To set my hair, I'm using a combination of the Miss Curlette setting lotion and water. I actually have about three to one in here. So about one part of the setting solution or the setting lotion and then three parts water. And then I use um, a comb to part my hair, but not for much else. And I'm using two brushes, my Denman styling brush, which is just my standard Denman styling brush that you can get at Sally Beauty, and then my curl shaper brush that, my curl shaper brush that I got from Lauren Reynolds' website, which I still use religiously to shape my curls. So we'll see how this one turns out, and um, you're, I'm going to show you the rolling portion first, and then we'll show you the styling portion. Okay, so once again, I'm starting with clean, dry hair, and I have parted my hair on the side, and then I'm going to take a small section on the large side of the part, that's the part with the most hair on it, 
and I am going to just attach the bottom of that section to the roller and then spin it up and you can kind of see the way you just take that elastic band and the little clip and you just stick it into the end of the roller it's very easy to do it's not something that I have it's not something that I have any issues doing um, it's just it's a little bit of a learning curve involved because there's some tension to that rubber band so you just have to be careful how you do it and I'm just gonna roll as many sections as I need to down on either side of my part um, on this side I think I just used two rollers on the other side I think I used three and technically I should have carried that roller up a little higher the denting would not have been as bad if I had but in retrospect hindsight's 2020 okay so I'm now going to split the back section in half and then just roll up the sides and you can see how that works it's easy and that's done and then I'm going to take the rollers out the next day after they're nice and dry and you can see it makes like a perfect lock so they're really really great they're easy to take out I don't usually have a whole lot of trouble taking them out and you're just going to unwind them I usually go bottom up and sort of um, just kind of pull the curl a little bit just to see how it falls and then I'm going to shake that out with my fingers and then I'm going to take my Denbin brush and I'm going to brush through it just like I do all my other roller sets and again you can see um, the thing about the the perm rods is they do tend to drop a little bit after you get them rolled up so you do have to be a little more careful with that dent at the top and we'll discuss that in the pros and cons section of this video but I'm just going to brush out the bottom sections you can see that the curl took really nicely it's a curl that will last for days literally um, and I'm going to kind of brush back the top section with this particular style I'm just of course styling it down like I have done with all the rest of the roller series just because we want you to see how this particular roll roller set works on the hair just in a general down set or a hairstyle that's all down. And I'm gonna use my curl shaper brush to sort of bring a little bit more shape into the curl, a little bit more volume. I'm gonna kind of reconfigure my part a little bit um, to sort of help with, uh, with the way the top is falling. And it gives me a little bit more volume. And after I have parted my hair, I'm going to just continue to finger through it, brush through it, and just sort of rearrange the hair until I have it to a style that I enjoy. Um, and I'm using hairspray just to sort of keep the flyaways down. And I'll just continue to brush through with my curl shaper brush until I get it to the consistency that I wanted. I wanted it to be more of a body wave, a body curl, and not a page boy, especially because the, the crimping at the top would have made it difficult to make it lie completely flat. And then I'm going to brush through the back. And you can see the back take pretty well. It's not the best set I've had with the, per with the perm rods, but it's an okay set. Okay, so here is a perm rod set, fresh off the curlers, brushed out in the video. And the pros and cons are probably pretty evident. When it comes to a perm rod, they do have this necessary evil. Uh, first of all, we'll talk about the pros. I mean, this is a beautiful set. It, it turns out nice and full and the curls are sturdy and it even though you use the larger ones, you still get a lot of longevity out of it. It's a really great option for a wet set. Um, so the look of it, the, the ease of the brush out, you don't have to usually do a whole lot of brushing. I usually use a lot less rollers than I do with any other type of set. I don't know why, but for some reason, larger sections on these really, really take curl well. So I would say I use less rollers and the finished product is definitely the pros of a perm rod set. The negatives, they are very uncomfortable to sleep on. Um, it's not my favorite choice to sleep on a perm rod set. That said, it it's possible and I slept fine last night. It's just not the most comfortable set to sleep on. So let's just put it that way. I usually can arrange the rollers on my head so that I can place a pillow under my neck and the majority of my head is not on the pillow. So that helps a little bit. But still, if you're gonna use a perm rod set, I don't necessarily recommend it as a sleeping set. Sometimes I would recommend just using this along with a hairdryer. Like you could usually sit under a hairdryer for about 30 minutes if you spray your hair damp like I did in the video. You can usually sit on your 
uh, sit under your dryer and dry your perm rod set relatively quickly because they do have these holes and they breathe really, really well. They almost perform like a stand-up pin curl. Actually, I think they do really perform like a stand-up pin curl because you do have so much air that gets through these holes and it makes it an ideal dryer set. So if you're somebody who likes to just set your hair in the morning, sit under a dryer for a while, or walk around throughout the day and then go out that night, this is a great set for you. Uh, but as far as a sleeping set, not the most comfortable. The second con is the rubber band. Um, it's going to give you a dent. The reason that I styled my hair where you can see the dent this time is because I just kind of wanted to show you how much of a dent it creates. It's a pretty significant one. Now, I don't typically have the dent from this elastic band. I don't typically have it um, more than just here and here. Um, and I've noticed that, of course, I don't know why, but for some reason it, the dents don't really show up in the rest of the curls. So it's really just these top sections that are the problem. And the way that you would solve that, of course, is either you would not style your, ha your hair down like I styled it today, or you would maybe, uh, and, and you could do like a partial updo with these curls, which would be beautiful. You could put your hair back in combs. You would never see the dents if you did that. You can also tease your hair significantly and it will cause the dents to be less apparent like I did today. So I teased this hair a little bit and it made the dent a little less apparent. Um, still, it's there. The second thing about it, so like I said, you can either style your hair into a partial updo so that you can hide those dents, or you could probably cut this off um, and just clip these with some duckbill clips. Like you could probably cut the rubber band off. I wanted to show them as they, as they come for the purpose of this video, but you could also probably, I haven't done this yet because I'll tell you why, but you could also probably take this off and you could roll the top sections where the denting is most apparent with these rollers and then just use a duckbill clip placed inside the hole to keep them in place. I haven't tried that. It doesn't sit very firmly, so I'm not 100% sure if that works. If that does work, let me know in the comments. I know somebody has probably tried that. Uh, so that's another option. But what I just tend to do is just my top section of my hair, I don't use the perm rods on. I use flexi rods for the top section of my head because they don't have any clips, so they don't cause any denting. So that's why I almost always I use a combination of rollers. I don't like there to be dents on the top section. I don't like to have to maneuver my rollers so they're not there. So what I use is flexi rods on the top and then my foam rollers, my pillow rollers. Well, pillow rollers don't really cause dents, but my foam rollers or my perm rods underneath. Um, so yeah, a mixed set would solve the problem, but then also just styling your hair differently, teasing, things like that can help with the dents. Um, there's not really any other cons. I would say other con possibly is that when you remove, these take some getting used to, being able to hold your hair in place while you clip that into place. That takes a little bit of learning, a little bit of practice. Um, they do tend to pop when you take them out, they tend to pop and hit your thumb. Hurts a little bit. <laughs> uh, and then also there is a little bit of snagging, sometimes pulling because of the nature of the rubber band um, and the way that it's secured to the roller. So that's the other con. Not a whole lot of cons. Either way, beautiful set. I think it turned out really nicely. It will definitely hold on me. It will last throughout the day. So if you have any other questions about perm rods, please place them below. Um, please continue to rate, comment, subscribe, and share the videos if you find them useful because that's going to really help also um, get my videos back up in the algorithm so that I can continue to make more videos. So thank you very much for everything you've done. Um, thank you for joining me today. And if you have, like I said, if you have any questions, please comment below. Um, and next week we'll move on to another roller set. And as you know, this channel is all about no more waiting around. If you have a goal, if you have um, a desire, whether it has to do with your fitness, your, sp your uh, beauty routine, or your style. Don't wait for the perfect opportunity to do it. Just get to it. And that's what this channel is all about. So hopefully we can help motivate you here and we will see you next time. Have a good day.